Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool, though. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, buds, it's Cheshire Wolf, and today we're playing The Beginner's Guide. This was recommended to me by this bud on YouTube, and I actually owned this game from a while ago because a friend of mine gave it to me, which is very sweet, and I've just never played it until now, and I don't know really know why, but this is a very weird kind of existential pretentious style walking simulator game from the creator of the Stanley Parable, which is a fantastic game. So I guess we'll see, we'll see what this is like. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing The Beginner's Guide. Hello. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote The Stanley Parable. Hey, and while there that you go. game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going Closed captioning. Yes. I'm going yes. to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. Where's where's the caption still? We're going to look at the gate. But where? <laughs> Sorry about this. I just oh, okay. Maybe they'll come in once it, we get a little. Games made by a show. friend of mine named Coda. Now these games okay. mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff, and his work pointed Rip. me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, okay. mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what I like is that even though he starts from the cool. simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. Does and of he? course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind oh, of calling yeah. card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, oh, I can't jump up what on was there. going through his head as mm. he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Okay. So, it's 2008. Coda starts making these games, and he never Sorry, releases them. Sorry, I'm not talking, anything. but like he doesn't he put is, them onto so... the internet. He just makes them and then immediately abandons them, and they sit on his computer forever. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to "important games folder." So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. is because I find his games powerful and interesting and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's okay. about it for introduction. Bizarre. Let's Very take a look cool. at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. Okay. Okay, really quick. Is this a real developer? Let me check on this. My research has told me that it's unclear and highly contested if Coda is real, if Coda and Davey are the same person or what's going on here, because like, if code is real, what about the copyright issues, etc. So interesting. With that in mind, uh, this may or may not be more than it appears to be. And there's a lot of talking in this game. Okay. Ah, sick. God, I love FPS this game games. This game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Okay. But fucking rules. Hell yeah, bruh. Oh, I'm I'm out of ammo. Oh okay, well. Wait, where am I? Oh, down here, okay. So yeah, this is interesting. There's a lot of talking, so I may not be talking a 
for you know the parts where he's talking because then that uh, gets a little a little confusing but this is it's very weird I like me a game. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned in development. Weird. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. Huh. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. Right. But ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Why can I not go through that area there? I mean, weird. Oh, it's a glass panel. Okay. Oh, I can go through here now. Very cool. Cool. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Oh, that's well, that's kind of fun, actually. I like that. I do like that. This is weird. It's already, like, it's making me think, you know? Because it's so bizarre. And it really doesn't make any sense. Apparently, the space station has a labyrinth on it. I, <laughs> sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just going to skip you on past it. I'm going to op- Okay, sweet. I was skipped past it. Sweet. I'm okay. going to- this is the part that's interesting. Okay. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. Me? That beam is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. Okay, if cool. You, your body could stop the beam. Oh, so I could, ask, I could sacrifice myself. Could you do it? Could you give yourself? Sure, yeah, why not? I have no emotional connection to what's going second. on in this game. What so. you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, okay. is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Okay. This is so weird. Oh. I don't feel like that's a bug. I feel like that's a, a feature. The beam causes you to start floating. And this it's is like an ascension into form. the afterlife. Because or yes, something, this right? is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it, like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. So I'm operating under the assumption, right, that Coda doesn't exist, or maybe yep. Coda exists in within the game, narrative you can of the only game. Walk backwards. Oh, that's really weird. Okay weird but within the narrative of the game but i don't think that the game is meant to be like real right because davy is actually the real life developer uh, but the so it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative okay it is less advanced than the previous game but actually it seems to be more Why does the focused, future keep more complete code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope interesting God, that game would be so annoying to play. When she stops and looks, it becomes clear. I get that it's going for something here. It has some sort of meaning, but uh, God, the gameplay is not fun. <laughs> I don't like walking backwards. How will she find the strength? Wow, how, how will she? How will she? To confront it. I, I don't know. It's a short little thought. It says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't okay. need anything more than That's that. That's fair. That's interesting. Which to me is why it works, because it gets out. Yeah, that's fair, because if okay, you had to do that excellent. for a long time, it would get really old really quickly, but that's fine. Okay. So it's weird, because I'm playing a game. You are now entering about, uh, playing a game about a game developer who doesn't exist, with a bunch of demos that we're playing through. And that's it. But they aren't. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please games, be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. 
You know what it kind of reminds me of, actually, is Sonic's Dream Oftentimes, Collection. Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Because both this and that are about I wish I'd theoretical the games that don't actually games. exist. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree okay. with that this at all. This is kind of cool, though. What are you going to do? That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, both of them are about games. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. Oh, okay. So why, okay. if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's see what's behind this door. Yeah, it's really weirdly meta. Uh... The game is nothing but giant blocks of text explaining what's happening. Play as a player of floating eyes, emitting footstep noises. A set of lavish manuals come with the game, giving you incorrect instructions on how to play. You are a gate. A you are the queen. Warm, Dusting your jewelry while your nice, kingdom is destroyed. And filled with little ideas for games. Okay, interesting. A key in one game unlocks a door in a completely separate game. You walk around talking, taking, talking people down from pursuing Coda their would hopes often and tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he Here's knew that he was actually a vibrant here. and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. You were it trying to eat the sharks that are eating you alive. There. Oh, that's funny. Press U to sh surrender. Send X staring at a bear for three hours. It's weird. It's weird. It makes you think, you know? Okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of enjoying this. Obviously, Way different from every other game I've played in this channel. Way different from every other game I have played in real life because, I mean, it's not exactly a game in a traditional sense. Well, this sense. is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Okay. What What is there to solve? I did the lever. I opened the door. What if I go this way? Okay. Well, I'm bad at puzzles. That's a known fact about me is that I'm bad at puzzles. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Don't forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle ah, again soon. Okay, interesting. It well, it's not a particularly hard puzzle if I can figure it out. Yeah, this is interesting. So it's that seems to be it, right? Mm. You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. All right, or now I'm going it? to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Bam. Whoa. Whoa, okay. How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually huh. find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. That's really cool. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role huh. here is not to understand, then what is it? Having trouble even commentating on this because it's so weird and it's so like it makes you think, you know? It's it's a it's very much a thinking type type of game, and I'm not a thinking type of person <laughs> usually, but this is uh -huh. just kind of interesting. So this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the, the Coda game cinematic and universe game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger hmm. picture is. Weird. It's so weird. The Great and Lovely Descent. It's weird knowing that this is about someone who isn't real or who is debatably real. It probably isn't real. Let's talk about video game development huh. for a second. Okay. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. This is true. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. The Streetwise Fool. That's a good name. 
It's a good name. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it Hog. does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms. Oh. It's just because he's working with what the engine oh, does no. well. Oh, no! The tools available to the creator wow. shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. Oh my you god, I didn't even notice that. Attention to the architecture in Coda's okay. games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear boxy corridors. Interesting. God, it looks just like Squid Game. This feels like a prison. The kind of brutalist brutalist architecture reminds me of uh, a prison. A prison. Okay, well, I, uh, I guess I'll go this way. Can I? I cannot. I can... Oh, nope. Only go up here. This prison, okay. funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting okay, you go. Okay, well, that's... If you don't uh... mind, I think we're gonna stay that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, buddy, because that sounds This is something that he and I used awful. to argue about a lot. You know whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would huh. always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? Absolutely. And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games <laughs> that was full of hundreds of individual games each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag in somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's weird. There wasn't. But yeah, like that is interesting to think about. Should a game be playable? Should a game be accessible? I don't see why it shouldn't be. Because there's not really anything stopping a game from being playable. It's the playable. puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. Awesome. There's still no Very clear cool. indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Okay, so let me let me try and put my little puzzle brain on and think about what the interpretation of that might be. You're going through a door, and a door is about new beginnings and going to a new stage in life, but you have to close the door behind you to progress. So by making it so that you can't go back is the only way that you can progress. You can't get caught up in thinking about the past or dwelling on it too much. You have to move forward. And in order to move forward, you need to let go of what's behind you. I think that would be my interpretation. Well, who the hell are you? You there, do you come Here, up from Coda above? What was using up a there? Kind of dialogue system that he fashioned oh. out of the engine's chat There's an enormous buildings. prison I spent Use hours in. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Oh, uh, yeah, enormous prison that I spent hours in. That's the world above. You've been there. Now this is important. Do you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Uh, yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming here. This is so weird. Again, perfect. Now please, tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. Um, none of those are correct, except maybe the third one. You don't want to go over there. Trust me. Trust me, bro. It's not worth it. Oh no, but I do. We do. We need to get over there. Do you understand? It's the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you there's nothing I want more. Okay. Well. Huh. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? Hello, how did you get here through here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass? No, I've been right here this entire time. I suggest you go and see the puzzle sometime. It's not meant to be solved, but you can sit in the black space in the middle. Uh, what happens? Who are you? Who are you? Who are these weirdos? Who are these weirdos? Just go hang out there in that blackness for a bit. You may not like it at first, but it'll grow on you eventually. Okay, well, huh, it's towing the line. It's towing the line between having actual and interest so meaning and being down too, to the final floor of the level. too esoteric 
to be enjoyable, but I think I am having fun. I think I am having fun. Should I just like hang out here in the dark corridor? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You can't make me. Okay. Well, this is nice. I like lamp posts. It's a lamp post. I love lamp posts. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamp. Post. I'm gonna get it. It's pretty. It's I love lamp posts. At the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Like Narnia. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. And maybe you that. can only float around in that headspace for so long. Makes sense. Now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. Makes sense again. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Okay, cool. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And Very as we go, cool. that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. I'm, I'm in it. Like, I'm a little like, huh, what, what is there going to be some, some meaning to this? It's really weird. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Is that true? Is that true, though? Is that true? Nice room. Not. I don't think these are real players. I do so not. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is yes, not connected to the internet. It. All of the notes that you're going to see have been game? written by Coda. Of course. This no was point actually to this. the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game oh, jam that's in Sacramento, cool, though. where I grew that's up. That's cool, though. I saw him working on oh, this very shit. level, and it was just so different you guys from hear anything me? that anyone else was doing. So right away, I was like, I have to be friends with this person. Hello. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit Reasonable. too pushy trying to get his attention. Everyone uh, read this. I was over enthusiastic. Hey. But he was very gracious this about place it makes and me sad. very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. I want to tell you a secret. Once upon a time, oh, I feel did. Feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not fun. doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me, How's they can there be wood a and grass and concrete here? I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and okay, I'm has not no way to these. express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. But it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game huh. and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. Whoa, there's a lot of notes I have to be here. honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just oh, it's seductive. play someone's game and see the voices in their head I just saw and get a flying to know penguin. them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I, I could just get to know you through your work. I just saw I it. this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much. is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I just, it felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. I just saw a flying... And then I feel less lonely too. I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic scene I have ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see again. If nothing will ever be that beautiful again, I am crying now and plan on ripping my eyes out. I must go do that now. You can't even get up there. You cannot. I don't think so. There's an acorn somewhere in this place and the sailors are looking for it. What does, what, what does any of this mean? It's so weird. That's cool, though. It's cool. It is. This is cool. I find myself more and more liking this game. And it's a really weird game. But ass but but ass but but ass but ass but ass but it's a really weird thing to play and it's a weirder thing to watch. So I certainly don't blame you if you're kind of like zoning out watching this. Cause it's not exactly the most immediately compelling shit, you know? Huh. And you could spend a lot of time here reading all of these and just seeing what they say. Yeah. But I don't think I will. Because there's only so much time. Take my hand, let's jump together. I would if I could, buddy, I would if I could. There's only so much time in the day, and there's only so much time in a video. That's a pretty painting. I really like that. 
who are all of you. We will all die someday. Stop pretending you're other people. Devil Tower Star. He was himself the most horrible creature he could imagine. I bet there's some weird Easter eggs, like weird references or something, you know, hidden if you read all of these. There's some weird stuff about, I bet. Almost want to, like, replay this at some point to read all of these, but I beat the game. Yeah, I beat the game, and you just lost the game. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the oh, puzzle Oh, that's means. pretty. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. I'm and hearing the puzzle whispers. is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. I'm hearing whispers. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this Which puzzle is interesting. that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. It's interesting because there is the Whisper Machine, which was a previous game, and now there's a bunch of whispers. Help, how do you do it? There's no way that people would have this much trouble with this puzzle and because, because it's there's this so dark easy. area between the doors, a space between spaces. Before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment. There is no a few second seconds switch. to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Okay. I will sit here because that is what I am supposed to do is find some deeper meaning here in the darkness. It does make you think. And I think that part of the beauty of the games like this, it relies on you, the player, to supply meaning. And I've talked about this before in other games or other videos, but you bring in what meaning you want to apply, right? So for some people, this might be like, oh, it doesn't matter at all. Let's just keep going. What's wrong with this game? Why isn't it funny like Stanley Parable? But other people might put their own meanings. And I think the beauty of this game is not that it has a lot of deep meaning in itself, but because there isn't much, but it's compelling, there's little snippets of ideas and they make you think and they make you apply your own meaning. And by applying your own meaning to it, it brings it out of you to the surface. I'm being all like uh, pretentious here, but it is interesting to think about. And it's the interesting thing where it makes you think that there's a lot of people who have come this way, but really there hasn't been. It's all CODA. But also, there have been in a different way because uh, there's a lot of people who have played this game in the Beginner's Guide. Okay, typing. How do I leave notes? Okay. Weird, 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 weird. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty? Speak, 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 speak. That's a little weird. Porn stars okay, die too. Okay, this one too. is tough. It's going to kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. Very weird. Very, very weird. I'm going to go. That's kind of cool, though. Hmm. See, they're reusing the same little assets for the pictures. Okay. Is this a loop? No, it is not a loop. Okay. Then what's out here? See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. Okay. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's going to start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. And the interesting thing is, like, why would I give a shit about Coda, who's a person who probably, like, why, why would I care? Even if Coda was real, what furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Uh, put a giant hole in the ground. That's not a giant hole. That's, what about the, about the wall of the room? A uh, huge picture of a horse. Again, that's not... It doesn't matter what I say. It's the illusion of choice. Yeah, Tesla coils in each corner. 
Hell yeah. Yeah, that's a cool Tesla coil, buddy. Table. You need a table. Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this from? Yeah. Okay. Weird. 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 Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Kind of cool, though. Like, I do like it. Sometimes weird is fine. But yeah, so, like, okay, I only care about Coda because this, time he comes this guy really cares about Coda, direction. you know? Huh. Please walk forward. Okay. I will. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care to remember each step. First, click on this table. Go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Now go to the far, the left side sofa, move it a little bit. This one. Finally touch the shelves. What if I touch the other sofa? What if I do something else? What if I, I can't. Okay, again, illusion of choice. That's it, in a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to the prison. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, so first it was touch the table, then the frame, then turn the light off and on, sofa shelves. Okay. Let's see if I can remember all that. Return. And okay. of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin oh. the chain of events to escape. Well, Here's a that's version weird. where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Oh, that's interesting. Let me just you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Wow. So personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. I think it's kind of cool. Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't I don't know, have it's that voice cool. telling you to stop that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and He's going and going. He's definitely talking about himself. And then he hits on something. He's definitely talking and about he himself. It. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison <laughs> is not actually in it. So is it a prison game? I... Hmm... Would it actually be a prison game, then? This is weirdly compelling. I keep having my instincts tell me that I should not care about this game, but then I kinda do. I kinda do. Okay. Hello? Who is this? Uh, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Oh, okay, so that's how it's a prison game. You're me. So you were trapped in this prison too? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I was in the, uh... It's a conversation. Furniture maze. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able that's to where talk I am to right someone, now. to share what's on his mind, I'm glad and to, know to that get, I get some out good of advice eventually. from someone who knows. What's it like to escape? But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know... Well, All of these games so far completely are still and wildly in motion at the itself. same time. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. Uh, no, I'm really the same person now as I was like that. It do actually does change. I don't feel I'm the same person at all. You gotta change. Every day you gotta change. Oh, good. That's so nice to hear. It makes me feel really happy. Remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. Good advice for all you out there, too. Wait, if you're me, how did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Uh, yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. There you go. What'd they tell you? What do you have to do to get out? They just talked to me for a while. That's all. That's all you need. Just someone to talk to you. That freed you? How does that work? I don't know. Uh, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. This is so weird. Okay, I can talk. I can talk. Let's talk for a bit. I would love to talk to myself. 
like to actually have a version of me to talk to, that would be so good. I'll be here as long as you need. That's so nice. That is so nice. It's kind of like being there for yourself, you know? I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. Yeah. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going yeah. to be okay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Nice? Oh, it would be nice. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Ooh, well, I don't know, buddy. The graphics are getting considerably better to as me, the game progresses. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Well, let's go in here. This seems cozy. Hello. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house by myself, and right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. Oh, don't worry about me. A place this nice, I'll be glad You'll to stay here all night. You'll notice the quality of the art is a step up from previous games. Yeah, absolutely. Including it's this super new nice. and improved chat system. Which well, no, you might just be getting a little ahead of yourself on. there, no? Why don't we start cleaning? From then you can decide out, whether you can do it all night. much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular oh, game took two months to create as a result. Yeah, I'll clear the table. No problem, buddy. Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now, please run to the bedroom and make the bed. Well, no problem, buddy, buddy. No problem. If I can just find the bedroom. Ah, oh, there we go. Very nice. What are you here? Why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? Okay. All the little details matter. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. Well, I'm working, I feel a kind of calm that rests in the pit of my rib cage. My soul just can't be soothed any other way, it seems, which I guess is all that matters. Oh, that and a tidy couch. Can you straighten the pillows on the sofa out here? Yeah, oh, the music is so pretty. Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink by the couch. Mop that up as long as you're there? No problem, buddy, no problem. I feel compelled to share incredible cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Just slather it on there. Slather it on there, buddy. Okay. No, it was stupid. Sorry. Never mind. No, King. King. No. Don't say it was stupid. Don't say it was stupid, buddy. No. No, it's not stupid. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. That's a check. The tub needs a cleaning. Okay, well... What is through here? Oh, it's nothing, 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 nothing. No need to be perfect. We're all just human. Yeah, there we go, buddies. Are there books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you put them back on the shelf? Oh, no problem, buddy. Look at that. It's all organized for you. I always get curious as to what books are on here. If they're After real the books at all. After the of prison games, huh. this house cleaning level almost feels like... Cleansing. Clear off those dishes it's on the, the table. After a particularly oh, difficult the dishes or traumatic are bad. experience, where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something. You know, cleaning is so difficult. How do you do it, darling? Let me tell you something. Your house is only as difficult to clean as you are. If you find the work hard, maybe you have a bit of housekeeping to do before you come to work. Ha, and there I go with another lecture. Of course I would. Don't you worry about all this nonsense. For now, you're smooth out the rug in the bedroom. I know ah, that Coda really liked this it's game. endless. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Earlier, when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it takes care of you. Heh. <laughs> Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. You know, there's a bit of truth in it, no? There's a bit of truth in there. I think there's a bit of truth in there. Wow, your, your clean, your clean head looks so bright and beautiful in the nighttime. I find myself staring into your, your little letters there. Might I, might I perchance... <laughs> King might I perchance ask you for a kiss. <laughs> okay, I'll clean up the books, I'll clean up the books, I'll clean up the books, I'll clean up the books. Okay. Those pillows on the couch are a real mess. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, because, like, in life, you gotta clean things over and over again. But, Question, of course, do you enjoy it this? can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. 
Okay. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I don't know. I could have done that for a while. I was vibing. I was straight vibing, yo. Okay. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Interesting. I really thought that was the point of it. But that's not the point. You're saying that's not the point. Items you this love, members only prices. Easy. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No, no, no. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is gonna teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know that is so well-developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? Uh, no one. I don't feel that way about anyone. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. Seems really petty, though. The question is not how we do it, but how to do it effortlessly. This is easy. It is so easy. It is so About halfway easy. through the game, the Being perspective perfect shifts. is effortless. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! This is the key. How do I achieve it with no effort? And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher still is love just, you. just as big and feel cold as you on are. the inside. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Okay, if you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. Whoa! That's wild! That's wild! Why is- why are some of them in gray? You understand that you won't be happy until you love me? Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Gross. Uh, just kidding. This is so weird. Uh, holy shit, you guys, look out. Something is coming into the back of the room. Look out. Oh, there's the listen. Okay. Everyone run! 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 It's Azathoth. He's come to destroy one. everything. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that Perfection. you can have. Perfection. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painful. Interesting. Human. I get that. I, I mean, I... this game a lot these days. Uh, if I had to describe this game in one word, it this would be interesting. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. Wow. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. Yeah, I mean, so none of these I remember games I are. found that a little strange at the time. Okay. Whoa, jump scare, baby. Okay, this is kind of cool, though. Who am I, Sander Cohen? The performance is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you will be playing as oh, me. We are a gathering of professionals. First, you start out leaning against this wall. Ah, this wall. This wall. Well, I have a bit of acting in my veins here. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It is your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Wise, happy. Hello. Hello there. Focused. Hello, that's it? That's not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her to be a human being. Do it again. I... Here are all my hopes and dreams. No, 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 that's not what I said to say to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. What if I stand upon her? I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of this setting. There are a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones bounce when you touch them. Those will represent the people nearby. Oh, that's kind of fun. Now talk to her again. Oh, but what if I want to bounce around? Uh, I'll, I'll bet you've learned to lean into the pain. Oh, that's fun, though. You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this. Everything was riding on this. Yeah, but I'm straight up bouncing, yo. Like, this is crazy. 
Oh, no, no, my bouncers. No! Okay. Oh. Well. That's sure something. Huh. Oh, the prison. Yes, now this is working. This is The game what it was ends like. with this theory premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. Okay. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and really trying to wonderful. chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. Interesting. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very helpful when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what That's I wanted to That's a lot to glean from a weird I little like a lot of his games are surreal game to demo. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. What if it's not about Coda? What if he just wanted to make a f weird little game? But what can you do? After this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. So he's taking longer and longer. Mobius Trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. Well, that's... that's a little weird. Uh... I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm... I don't know... I, I mean, I can't... Huh. It's weird. Because I can't, like, see what's going on. Right? Oh god, that's so weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh my god. Uh, don't let this be forever. I'm... Ah. Ah, and I can only go backwards. Okay. Sorry I didn't keep my eyes closed for that. Okay. Oh no, I can't. I can go forwards. I just had my You should fingers. probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Okay. And there is a solution, by the way. Okay. There's a giant door. My vision went black. Please, someone talk to me. There is a solution. We're gonna crash. Well, what's the solution? Oh, 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 oh! Come on. I'm gonna go right down here into this door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. I can't keep making these. That's it. That's the truth. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it's draining me. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what huh. he's thinking. So where's that coming from? But I figure out how even to weirder, say the his work thing. has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Huh. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. I'm alone. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Hmm. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. Okay. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. It's really, it's really making me think, you know? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Is anyone there? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. What a person. How lovely. It's been a long time since I've talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Well, I am. I am lost. I'm completely out of ideas. Oh, man, that's pretty. That's so pretty. You're so pretty. What happened? Did something change? I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start it again. Oh. Wait, you're looking for a machine. I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Well, that's a stroke of luck. That's a stroke of luck. I need to see it to know why it stopped. Oh man, this is like my favorite part so far. It's so pretty. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, scarred by a difficult this one puzzle. If you can help me solve the puzzle, we can find now, a machine. Put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend 
whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, oh, frustration, man. anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder, even when you. he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. That's what it's like to Why? create. What is it for? You gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep doing it no matter what. Because from my perspective at the time, and, and here's the puzzle. What, what do you think? Him, this was a result of this how is isolated easy. he was. He was in his own little bubble. Oh, wonderful. Just sitting at his computer all day, not Tell really showing these it. games to anyone, uh, not releasing First, them onto the to internet. Open the door. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. And I have to close the door. All right, what's next? Now just press the switch here. That was so simple. It you was. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You okay. can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no the things circulation. That they said earlier. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, just then if the work ever all. fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Okay, you're kind of starting to get desperate, dude. You have, to, uh, you have to say the game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Sure, making games is easy. Okay. That feels wonderful. But it wasn't true. You gotta lie to yourself to make it. You know? Keep saying that creation is easy. I am constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. Oh, that's so weird. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy. It's such a simple solution. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. You're totally talking about yourself, like, dude. Video I'm gonna games vom. I'm gonna vom, dude. This amount of suffering. Huh. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. Pain breezes effortlessly off me. become angry and frustrated like this. It was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I, I felt believe at the this time. unquestioningly. I, I am a vessel for certainty. Out. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt oh, so. Oh, there's the prison. I just. I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. There was someone in there. But it didn't stop. First person who actually had a this person one, head, right? Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Okay, interesting. The machine, the machine, like the machine from last time. I'm like, oh God, it's like, it's so, it's both fascinating, but like it takes so much brain power because all of it is like, you need to think about it, you know? I just don't have that much brain power. Guard, ma'am, glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine, it's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be brutal. Very good. Just be warned that sometimes someone called the press, so I have a bit of a tension on this one. One more thing you should know about the machine, it calls itself Coda. Interesting. So now if I... Oh, am I not, is that not what I'm doing here? I'm not clicking on this one, I'm just going? Okay, I'm just going. Oh, wow. Well, you got a lot of questions, I'm gonna ignore all of them. I'm gonna ignore all of them. It is quite a cool visual though, but I am going to ignore you. I'm going to go torture someone. Let the torture begin. And of course, it's the machine. Oh, that's cool though. Your work was keeping us alive. Those people out there, can you imagine what pain you've put them through? I've been so alone without you, without your your bountiful wisdom, Coda. Apologize for leaving me. Please, I miss you so much. No? Nothing? I've seen the thing you fear. Okay. Alright, then I'll apologize to the people on your behalf. Weird. Weird. Hey, sorry, buddies. He says sorry. Coda says sorry. By the way, my followers, hear ye. It falls on. I have a troubling 
revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Literally, we don't need its games that it creates. Let us pay it retribution. Bloody retribution. Let us string it up on the guillotine. Follow me. We will destroy the machine. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's fucking wreck this fool. Oh, we're back here. Oh, well. That's interesting. Oh, shit. Bring it. Bring it. Where's the machine? Remember, you can click to fire the gun. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool, though. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that is so cool. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his game. Yeah. It might get him out of isolation. That's a good idea. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I oh, did it for that's him? weird. If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning know. back I into his I don't know, work? buddy. I don't know. Worth a shot, right? Oh, this is so cool, though. It's so cool to go back and just, like, destroy the places that you've come from. It literally feels like you're, uh... So I started showing Coda's work to people. Oh. I took this one... Like a literal destruction the of the past. A literal forgetting. The theater, the notes, the house on. cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. Yeah, they're great. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for okay. him to be afraid ah, of. Ah, no, into the darkness I go. This is weird. This is very weird. There's the machine. Can I destroy the machine? Oh, God, I am just, I... I don't know what to say. Put down your weapon. I shan't. It's Christmas. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Yeah. This is the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good. That I am good. When, when like someone moves, really connects so. with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. Yeah, no, I get and that. I get that. I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I love when people I like my something. stuff. It really, it really helps. You know? I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. I don't know it feels if like Coda has depression. Gift, maybe I could fix the problem. Which isn't something you can just easily they fix told like me that. How much they enjoyed his games. It was the best feeling. It was the absolute. Best feeling. Right, because they're the same person. Because so they're happy. saying that you so they like your game, beautifully, right? Beautifully happy. That's what I'm getting out of this, is that they're the same person. But he's invented this whole character um, of Coda to separate so himself anyway, from the fact. Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. Okay, cool. So this is June of 2011. And I didn't hear anything from him for. I have no idea when this weeks, game came out. Um, and so, out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and okay. it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. Okay, just waiting for one of these the to Tower. be like absolutely and horrifying. To my knowledge, you know, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Last game. Okay, so we are coming up so in the, let's take the a look. end, maybe, of this whole experience. The Tower, and this does feel more like an experience. Than a game per se, and it's definitely. And this is where I have trouble hmm. saying anything meaningful about Coda's work, because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. Kind of cool, though. It's a very cold game. Kind of cool, though. Huh. 
Yeah, it's definitely like, it's not a game that really grabs you, you know? You need to actively engage with it and actively think about it to get this anything out of it, otherwise it's like pointless. It. Oh, God, okay. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience uh. is really miserable. Yeah, the I don't game like goes that. beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying uh. to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge yeah, over Yeah, I'm ready. The I don't like that flashing. I don't like that flashing. Hey, that reminds me of the Stanley Parable. There's like that golden path in the Stanley Parable. It's making me want to replay the Stanley Parable again. And this does remind me of the Stanley Parable, unsurprisingly. Except it's and a to lot be fair, more It's not romantic, like this is the first game that's needed some modification funny. to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. Interesting. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? I don't know that it's really... The only Life way past is hard. this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit huh? code. Wow, that sucks. Like the invisible That's maze, impossible. It's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. And I hate if that. I could have reached I hate him that. during this time, then that. maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. Yeah, it just kind of sucks, you know? I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Thank you. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, it's just like the bridge of Kazadun. If you know, you know. Okay. I gotta say, though, it's, it's very unique, and I do really like it. The weird meta aspects. The, the, you know, you have to guess about what it's about. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. The visuals so are actually quite cool, too. Even if you too. somehow brute-forced your way through the first two challenges, and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. Well, that's just stupid. And it's scary for me. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. Or it's just a stupid like game guess, design, but... but... Fix the problem. I feel like it is deep because that's can the open whole this door point. For you, so, let me do that. Thanks, buddy. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? No, you know, no. I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. No, I, I would say like that Coda failed, failed in designing a good I game. I don't understand why. And it's okay. He doesn't need to design it's a good June game, but. I'm playing this for the that very That does first make it time. a bad game if it's, as I'm playing, like, I'm thinking there's myself, no way to fix it or solve it. I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. Yeah, you don't, you're not it actually wasn't friends. The guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, but is I was he saying that he doesn't know, to know who him, he is? To understand you know? who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I, I asked think him he is talking about himself. Three dots mean. I have been noticing those three wouldn't. little dots throughout the game. I've noticed three dots over and over again. I just haven't said anything about them, but I have noticed them. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. Nah, that's not how that it was works. That I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. Exactly. You needed to invent left. this character it named felt Coda. Somehow like I had failed. Who is you, but is also not you, you know? Oh, that's cool. Where did I screw up? This part reminds me a lot of, uh, God, what was it called? Uh, it was a weird surrealist games. Dear Davey, thank you for my interest in my games. I need to I'm ask you to not speak you stopped with me making games, anymore. Aren't I? Huh. It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Weird. God, what was that game called? I forget. This game. 
this game. It reminds me a lot of that. I'll have a link for that in the description if you want to see me blabber on about nothing, which is what I'm doing here, because that's kind of what this game is about. I don't think I ever told I wonder you this. Wonder at this times whether you think I'm making this game for you. When I took your work and I showing it to people, it actually felt. <laughs> It felt as though I were responsible for something important. You so valuable. infected my personal space that it's possible I be, did begin and to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden them, between games. They treated me like I was important. If there's an answer, a meaning really would make me happier. And cared about what I had stopped to taking say. my games and showing them to people. Even though I was wishes. showing your work, it was you know, something that's not yours to give. I violating the one boundary that myself. keeps me safe. Finally, for a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Hush. Hush, Davy. Hush. At least some of these games were public, so how is showing them to people? Recommending games to people is not a violation of boundaries. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Will you stop changing my games? Stop adding lampposts to them? Was he changing them? Ah. Will you simply look and see what they are? And I didn't have anything left to show people. When I'm around you, I, I feel I just physically had to ill. Be with myself. You desperately need something, and, and I cannot give it to you. Happened, I literally do not have there it. There was no feeling at all. So like nothing, less than nothing. Coda has to be Davy, right? What does that mean? And it's like Coda is like this artist persona that Davy has made that is so like has such a particular vision. But Davy also wants recognition and wants people to enjoy his work, so he tweaks it to be more mainstream applicable and then his artist persona is mad at him i think that's what's going on struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed low points are just a part of the process the fact that you think i'm frustrated or broken says more about you than about me i realize this doesn't make sense to you just yet which is fine you're not my problem to solve but I do hope that one day it clicks and you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Ooh. When you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. Well, that's that's a you problem, Davy. That's a you problem. Is there not a letter? That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Uh, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. Uh, and I get it. so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. Huh. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? The other option is that Please. he's just really I need obsessed. to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. Huh. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Yeah, something's so wrong with you. Because I know that I did you. an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but That's I can't copyright violation, stop which myself is why this can't from be doing real. it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. There is. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, no, I, I don't know. Just, I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just, just tell me on. what you it's want. Just weird I'm, little games, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. Not. Please. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to how, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading. Unrelatable. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Dude, go to therapy. My god. Epilogue. Okay. Go to a therapist. Go to a therapist. My god. Okay. Huh. Well, there's a cool little lamppost thing. Well, this is weird. This is a very bizarre experience. But now I shall board this train. More, 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 more. more. Perhaps more it will take love, me to some place that makes place, sense. More people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. You gotta learn to love yourself for who like you are. You gotta just learn to love yourself solution. without other people's approval. Solution. solution. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. The level transition there. Oh, man, that's so cool. That's so cool. You gotta learn to just take yourself for what you are and accept it. I just really enjoyed making prison games. Maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. 
Yeah, you're the desperate one, dude. I wouldn't have told someone. Unless they are the same person, person, which I still think they are. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Yeah. See, not everything has to be that deep. I do like those marbled stairs. This one. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. What? They'll hate you. Yeah, I mean, if you're being a weirdo, people are gonna be like, you're a weirdo, right? I, I worry that I'm completely missing the point here, but... Ah, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I could totally vibe here. I feel like Mole Man is gonna come and suck my toes off. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? Literally, like, anything. <laughs> validation is great, Strange, but, like... but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. God, like, I feel I so bad for you. I cannot conceive of what that would be like. Validation is great, but it's not the point, you know? It's not the only thing there is. God, that just makes me feel bad for this dude. Like, what is wrong with you, my guy? Please see a therapist. You deserve, you deserve better than that, king. What now? Well, I guess we'll just keep going. It's a pretty bridge. It's a pretty tunnel. That's cool. I like that. I think I need to go. Yeah, you probably and do. I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. Okay, yeah, you, you do your thing, dude. Up for, and so I'm... Okay. Just gonna... Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. Okay, bye, dude. See you later, broski. Man, that's cool. Now we're getting some really cool visuals up in this. Okay, 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 okay. Huh. There's a weird line there. Well. Suddenly, everything's real quiet. Hey, buds, how's it going? How's it going? The validation thing is weird, because, like, validation is nice, you know? Like, I look for validation when I post videos and I record videos and spend a ton of time recording and editing videos for like I don't get anything back I'm not monetized I don't even really promote my work super a lot I just do it because it's nice to make stuff and it's nice to see what other people think about it and I guess it is a validation thing but also it's just I like to make you know it's part of the process of making like, I'd still be making videos if no one was watching them. No one was commenting or subscribing. I'd still be making stuff. Not just videos, but everything I make. Like, I, I write and I paint and, you know, I do all these things. Because just creating in itself is enough for me. Validation is great. It's like butter on toast, you know? You, you like it there for the flavor. You can still, like, you still get full without the butter, you know? You don't need it to survive. It's just spice but you can still survive and you can still be satisfied without the validation. No, I don't think butter is the best metaphor. It's like candy, you know? Because it, it tastes good, but it's not the only thing. You can't survive in candy alone. You'll die. It's bad for you. Too much can poison you. It's just something that you need or you want occasionally, but even if you don't get it, it's okay. It's just nice to have, but like... Oh, and here's the little... Uh, throw yourself into the beam and die or ascend to heaven thing. So that's cool. That's cool. Awesome. Here we go. Rising up through the ceiling. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Wow, that is cool. That is a cool visual, actually. I, I like that quite a bit. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, Scoob. I do like that. Well... I don't know, it does make you think. It does make you think. It, it really does make you think about a lot of things. I like that. I like that game. I like that quite a lot. I don't know if I really got it, but I also don't know how much there is to get. Maybe there's a lot to get. Maybe I didn't get it at all. 
maybe my, my search for meaning is the whole point. Maybe it's not. Maybe there is some secret point. Some weird hidden conspiracy theory, some hidden code, some explanation, some reason behind it all. But maybe there's, maybe there's not. I personally, I like to believe that there isn't. That there isn't a point to it. That there isn't some hidden meaning for R. Who the hell is R? Who is R? Project would not have been possible without the following individuals. Well, claps for them. Claps for them. Thank you. All of you crazy, crazy kids. Helena Heron and Ryan Roth. Thank you. You're awesome, buddies. You're awesome, buds. Yeah, that was, uh... That was the game. Huh. I think the notes part was my favorite. I thought that was very cool. What do you think? Is there some hidden deeper meaning? Is Coda and Davy the same person or are they actually different people? Did I miss the point? Did I get the point? Is there a point? Is it the meaning that we apply to the game? It really does get you thinking. And I had a lot of fun playing that. I did. I did. I don't know if I went through too fast. I don't know if there is too fast. I don't know. It's making me, it's making me seriously overthink everything. But bottom line is I had fun and I hope you did too. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more games like this, there will be some links in the description to other weird walking simulator games that I've played. And if you want to play this yourself, there will also be a link in the description for that. If you feel like it, like, comment, subscribe. Really helps my life feel a lot more spiced. And I'll see you next time. Until next time, why don't you think about the meaning of life and the meaning of meaning and the meaning of creation and why don't you tidy up around the house a little bit. See you then. Ch Ching!